Hey guys, this is Lenny here, and today we're gonna analyze a model using Patron. So first of all, we open Patron from the desktop, and we're gonna wait for it to load. It takes a while, but you gotta be patient. So once it loads, the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna create a new database. Well, there it is. So we're gonna create a database as aforementioned, and we're gonna name it simply car. We're just gonna browse where it's gonna be located, and we just type in car. It's easy. So we just click OK. And next up, what we're going to do is that we're going to import uh, the model that we're going to analyze. It's just a solid. So import. And we're going to select what kind of source it is. It is a SolidWorks model. Actually, the link to download it is in the description. So you can go ahead and try it by yourself. And we just apply it. And there it is. It is importing the model. Once it is important, we're going to see this window, we just click OK, and in the background, we can see that the model is successfully loaded. So, we can make sure the model is a solid by just clicking on viewport display and changing the display to smooth shaded. There you go. Beautiful. Wonderful. So, we're going to work on this model, which is awesome, by creating a final element mesh. You know, we're going to select an object mesh, and we're going to select solid as a type. So the element shape is going to be that, the measure is going to be that mesh, and the topology is that 10. So for the input list, it's going to be the whole model, which is solid 1. We deselect automatic calculation, we're going to just type in 1.0. Why? Because we're using an academic edition of Patron, and it is easier for us to work with. So we just apply it, and we wait a little bit for the mesh to create, and there it is. We got our mesh, and we're going to work with it. So next up, we are going to create a load. In this case, it is not just a load, it is a pressure. So, uh, the new set name, we're going to pretend it is a wreck. So, this vehicle is going to be in some sort of wreck. Now, according to my calculus, it, the pressure is going to be of 196,800 pounds of force that receives the body. So, we're going to apply this force into the back of the rear bumper, which is, you know, the rear of the chassis. We just apply it. And there it is, but there's something wrong with it. So you can see that the force is being applied from the inside of the car to the outside, which is going to be the other way around. So we're just going to modify it by going into... God, this is wrong. So never mind, we're just going to go back, we're going to change action to modify, and the object is going to be pressure, and we just select rec. Now modified data, we're, we're sure of it. We're just going to double check that the solid is right, so we just unchecked solid 1.36 and I'm going to select it one more time, OK. Modify data, we're just going to change the symbol for it to read 96,800. We apply it. So we can see it is now wonderful, it is just a charm. It is done, but we're going to create the constraints. We're going to simulate that um, the front bumper is actually, you know, clamped to surface such as a wall. Why? Because it is easier to work with. So the new set name is going to be fixed. So I spent a lot of time trying to sort out. Well, the translation is going to be 0, 0, 0 in the X, Y, and Z axis, respectively. So I, I spent a lot of time trying to sort out where, what was called the, the front bumper. So it is solid 1.1. I just typed it in. And as we can see, it is just selected. And we apply it. There we go. We have our front bumper, which is now... Uh, clamp to the wall. Up next, we're going to create a material. It's going to be isotropic, and its name will be steel. Easy, so. Uh, the elastic model is going to be 36, which is 30 times 10 to the 6th power, and the Poisson's radius is going to be 0 0.3. We apply it, and we're going to create a solid for the model. So there, it's over 3D properties. The property set name is going to be car. The input properties, we just select steel. And OK. There we go. Select application region is going to be the whole model. We add it. OK. And we apply it. Now we're ready to analyze it. But here's the trick. We go to analysis. And once we are in analysis, we select the option for entire model and we apply it. So we got to retrieve the BDF file for it to run on an Astron. So we go away a little bit. We open Nastran directly. We're going to select. Uh, the BDF for the car, we open it, and we run it. 
there we go. We have the files, and we just leave uh, Nastran to do its job for a little bit of time. And, well, there it is. So now what we're going to do is just we're going to attach the XDB that was thrown by, by Nastran, you know. And we're going to select it, OK, and we're going to apply it. Now the XDB has got to be loaded, so we can now see the the results. But there's there's something that I forgot to check. I'm just gonna double check it. The solutions type is gonna be linear static, so it is. And okay, we're fine. So now we're gonna select the fringe result, which is stress tensor. We're gonna make sure that quadrant is mod misses, and we're gonna select the displacements, which is translational. Up next, we're just gonna uh, delete the geometry from you no, know, in order to see just see it just clean and we apply it we can see that it suffers well severe damage as we can see just gonna browse it so you can actually check out what's what's wrong with this and we're gonna animate it for for you to see how the model will be affected in my case I don't want to rack into anything then slam to a wall so there you go man shake it shake it man oh yeah no I can make it stop I want to stop it but it won't stop. It won't stop. It can't stop. Where is this? It can't stop. Oh, pause animation, and there we go. We applied. There it is. Oh, you can see it, and we can just go out of software. Now, if you like the video, make sure to give us a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. My name is Lenny, and See you guys next time.